Okay, is your knee run ready, but not sport ready? What I mean by that, if you've had an ACL recon or a significant knee injury trauma, and you've done your rehab, like me, and you're returning to running, or you've got running, and then there's sport afterwards. So you can run, and you've done all your work, like you've done hopping, landing on the box, you've done side stairs where you're jumping on the bow soon, you can do all that, and you're back running, but there's still sport to go. Is your knee really ready for sport? Now we're gonna use my knee as an example because it's very on topic. I'm at that point, after my knee fractures and my ACL re-tear, I can run, I can run fine, AK. But can I play sport? Can I hop, sidestep, that sort of thing, okay? So if you're in that boat where you're Returning to running, maybe you're after 16 weeks post-injury in the rehab phase, and you're getting towards the 20 weeks, and you're trying to return to sport, then this is for you. So, what I mean by this, can you easily hop onto a box? Yes, but when it comes to hopping on one spot, are you struggling a little bit? What's the impact like? Is it a bit unstable? Now you'll notice this if you try and hop over something. Okay, so hopping on a box is great, hopping on a boat is great, and when you're running, you don't need to hop over something. But can you, on one leg, say you're riding, hop over something and land? And if you're struggling with that, if you get to the point where you go, okay, my left one, that's a good one, it's fine, my right one, you're going, oh, I can't really do that. You go, hang on, how can I not do that? Yet I can run, it's just that you need to work on practicing the impact and the loading and relearning all that. So I've got some exercises for you that I'm doing to try and help you guys bridge that gap from running to return to sport safely, okay? So, first thing I'm gonna work on is the mini tramp. Now, some of you might go, I don't have a mini tramp. Well, I suggest you wanna get this right, get one of these or get access to one of these. They're not actually that expensive. What you've probably been doing already is being able to hop on two legs, pretty easy stuff, okay? It's the hopping on one leg that you need to master, and then some drills while you're hopping on one leg. So the first thing we wanna get right is if you've never been on one of these, and you find even that gives you a little bit of jarring or instability in your knee, then you need to work on perhaps, instead of being 50-50, you can work on say good leg about 70% or how much you need to increase on the good leg to take the load of this one. All right, so you're still doing work on here, but you're just learning to bounce and load with less load on that leg, like less than 50%. What you're learning is all the movement and the translation, the holding like that. It's very important with an ACL. If you watch my knee, when I land, you can see there's a, a lot of quick forward movement going on there from the tibia, all right? Now, when you've had an ACL rupture, that movement, you sort of have to relearn to control, okay? So try and start off with just bouncing on two legs and going for more weight left than right. Once you've got 50-50, great. Then you've got to go the other way. So I suggest you just reverse that and put more weight on the other one because you'll probably find going from two to one is really hard, okay? So just increase more weight on the bad leg over time. Then say the next week, you're going to then try and jump on one. Once you've got the hopping on one going, and you're going, okay, that's not too bad, then you need to work on your stability. Now there's two things I want you to do when you're hopping on one leg, all right? One is a hop and hold, and one is a side to side. Now, the hop and hold means you would go for, say, three bounces, and then when you finish the third bounce, you land and go into a knee bend, okay? So, I'll show you what I mean, I go one, two, three, and hold, okay? And you just repeat those. And I do maybe set of 10 of those in a set. So it's one, two, three, hold. And it's the ability to try and hold it and bend your knee. What you don't want to do is just one, two, three, and stop straight. You've actually got to bend and absorb, okay? So compare that to one, go back on your bad leg, and try and work on that, okay? Build up sets and reps of that to try and get that control where you land on one leg from a height. And it's going to really help you when you start doing hops later. Second thing I want you to work on the mini trap on one leg 
is going from side to side. So if you imagine if you are side to side on two legs, very easy. When you're on one leg, it's a whole different story. And you might have done jumping on one leg, say, side to side on the floor, and you feel fine, but that's a solid surface. So when you start jumping the mini tram, you have to deal with all the stability mechanism as well. So you start off on your good leg, and be careful of this because you don't want to go too wide on the mini tram. Think about where the middle is, and you're just going a little bit wider than the middle. Okay, so you're almost hopping on one spot. You're just trying to change direction. You can see how it takes a while to try and go left and right and learn that. It's a very hard thing to do. And you see how I'm struggling with this because, hey, I'm in that phase where I've got to relearn on both legs how to jump left and right on an unstable surface. So if you look at that movement, especially on my right leg, I'm a lot slower. Okay, left leg, I'm not so coordinated on that leg, but I can handle it. The right leg, you can see that slowness I've got there, okay? A little bit unsure about it. So for me, because I'm left footed, my right leg's better at hopping, I'm better nearly on my right leg, but I'm not as strong, not as stable. So I need to keep working on jumping left and right, okay? Especially over the next four to eight weeks. And on the left one, I need to do that as well because the left one's not great. So that exercise, if it's for you, will really highlight whether you've got your medial and lateral stability checked, okay? Hopping on a mini trap, great way to do it. So that's your first one. Second thing you do is then hopping for a height. So that's like, what we call hurdle hopping. So I would try and use hurdles rather than jumping over an object. You don't want anything that is a solid object that you're gonna trip on, okay? Because the first time you do this, you might find you start tripping over those or can't even get over the hurdle. So hurdles are great because if I clip them, it's no big deal, okay? So what I would do is set up something reasonably low that you think you can hop over, okay? You might even want to start off with nothing, and I'll show you that in a minute, but these hurdles need to be apart enough where I'm gonna land, and then we're gonna hop over again. So don't have them too close, don't have them too far apart. Less than a meter is probably ideal. Now, if you're looking at that, and you go, that looks a little bit dodgy, that's too hard for me, move them away for a start, and just sort of imagine where they are, and think, okay, I've got to hop over that hurdle and over the next one. So you may find, okay, I'm just gonna hop forward in one spot. So I'm just gonna jump forward and land, jump forward and land, and see what that feels like. See what that shock loading's like. What you gotta work on though, jumping forward is okay, and you may find, yeah, I can do that. Have you got the height? And the big thing about this is, the difference between running, we only need about this much height, okay? To sport, we need a lot more height. Imagine if you are playing football, and you kick a ball and you have to jump over a player or jump over the ball, have you got enough height to do that? So for this, you've got to think, I'll do one at a time. Can you hop over one? And you may go, oh, I'm a bit nervous, I don't want to do that. Okay, go to your good leg. Can you do your good leg? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, so I know I can achieve it. And then you go to your right. Some people might start off with a little bit of help. You'll notice that if you can't jump over with one leg, you're probably lacking a little bit of power as well. You may find you have to jump over with two and land with two. Okay, I can get over and progress from going from two to eventually you can go to one. The trick with this is being able to do bounding in a row. Now I've just set up three here for example. I'd end up probably going for maybe six of these. Isn't Six hurdles so you can achieve one, two, three, four, five, six in a row. So like I said, put them about a meter apart Start off definitely with one leg, uh, sorry, the good leg first. Okay, I think, okay, can I do it with the good leg? One, two, three, all right? And then go back to the other leg. Now I'm not quite at the stage where I can do, like my left leg, on my right. I can do one, jump over, land, but I can feel how much low that is. I can feel that there's still a little instability there. My confidence, even me, there's not enough to do three in a row, okay? So I practice on my left, and I keep going with my right to try and build that up. I use the mini tramp, single leg hops, lefts and right. So what I'm doing at the moment, at this stage, is going over with two, okay? So there's more weight with right than left, 
So when I come over, take off my right, land there, okay? Take off, land there, take off, land there. Try and string it together. So eventually, I'll go, okay, two and one. Now that might seem easy, but I'm putting weight through my left leg, right? A little bit more than right. Eventually, maybe about three or four weeks, I'll get that to right only. It won't be great, because I've got about eight weeks to go with this. All right, so there's a lot of time, and it's not just about brain to knee. Strengthening, loading, trying to condition my knee to be able to handle hopping on one leg. If I can hop, and hurdle hop over the deck, it's getting very close to being already sport ready. So, if you're in that boat, there's some tips for you. Work on it, try and be safe. See you next time.